What could you do to protect your pets if you're sick or injured? My product, Save My Pet ID Tag, helps you ensure that your beloved pets are safe and well cared for even when life isn't what you expect. We have a pair, I'm going to just call them geniuses, on our show today, a special guest. And they are both committed to helping keep cats and dogs happy and healthy in homes. And how do they do it? Well, they develop science-backed products that calm pets and help reduce some unwanted uh, behaviors. I think that's pretty cool. So at this time, I want you to join me in giving pause and applause to this dynamic, sensational scientific duo. We're talking Dr. John McGlone and Larry Novell. Welcome, welcome, gentlemen. Welcome, glad to be here. <laughs> so everybody's like, who are these guys? Are they that magic man in the Wizard of Oz that know everything? But okay. science, science, science. We're gonna dive in, but first, I want you guys, we're, let's talk about the P word. Now, I know what my audience is thinking, the P word. I'm talking pheromones, pheromones. Shoo, Dr. John was like, what? I didn't think I was signed up for a bladder talk. But, you know, let's start with you, uh, Dr. McGlone. Hey, everybody. He's at Texas Tech. That's in Lubbock, Texas. He's got a lot of credentials behind his name, but I love that he's a pet champion. So, Dr. John, if I might call you Dr. John, sure. give us a little school us on what the heck is a pheromone and why should we care about that in our dogs and cats? Right. Uh, humans are familiar with pheromones because of animals and also because some people believe there are some human pheromones. But a pheromone is a chemical, an odor released by one animal that changes the behavior or physiology of another animal of the same species. So it's like oh. animal perfume on a hot date, right? Right. So for, in the insect world, where there are over 7,000 pheromones that have been identified. Are you kidding? 7,000? Yeah. And mammals, wow. there's been about 20. Only in insects, 7,000. So in insects, there are all kinds of pheromones, like alarm pheromones. If you squish an aphid, it eliminates an Alarm pheromone, the other aphids run away or fly away or however they move. Oh, it's the warning. Yeah. And then they have sex pheromones where they attract other. And the government and companies use insect sex pheromones to spray forest land to disrupt reproduction in the insects that are killing the pine trees, for example. Are you kidding Wow. So these two app ads are having a date night on a Saturday, and here comes the spray. <laughs> you know, if, you, if you can imagine, you're a male insect looking for a female, but you smell female sex pheromone everywhere. You don't know what you're, you're trying to meet with the bark and the leaf and because you, you're confused. So the, the reproduction goes down and then the trees do better. But the interesting thing about a pheromone is that they're all natural. They're, they come from insects that mammals they're perfectly they're found in the world they're ever we can I smell love this. Some of them. so they're not a drug it's not a it's natural pharmaceutical. it's simply a chemical that has an effect on the animal okay what, so what we what we found though is uh -huh. that pheromones can be very powerful changes very powerful molecules that change the behavior or physiology of animals I but like that. Sometimes we find a similar molecule that is a pheromone in one species that for some reason has a very powerful effect on another species, but has not yet been identified as a pheromone in that species. Gotcha. Okay. Well, let me at this time, I do need to uh, bring in our other uh, guests, oh, but I'm, I'm like, I can talk to you over tea for hours about pheromones, Dr. John. I love that. Larry, you are a chemist and a, a biologist, and you've been a prez of many, many animal health companies. So your heart's in this just as John McGlone's is. Anything you want to add about how pheromones can really be helpful in helping keep 
dogs, cats, in homes, because as you all know, the three major reasons pets get surrendered to shelters is because they're aggressive, you know, sure. they're too s- scared. And a big one that's happened since the pandemic, there's a pile of dogs and cats that have separation anxiety. So dive in, if you would, Larry. Well, the, the important thing is that John identifies the pheromones and I try to find ways to make sure that those pheromones are in the right place at the right time. Wow. And by doing that, then we can work together and accomplish what we're trying to do, which is to make for a less anxious dog. Yeah. And it already said, Anxious dogs create all kinds of problems. They fight, they, they urinate, they chew, they destroy, and then they get put down. And that putting down is, we'd like to make them happier, but for certain we want to make sure they're not put down. So we try to do whatever we can to change the behavior so that the owner will not only enjoy them, but will keep them. Yeah, I mean, you can't say to a dog, hey, Calm down, relax. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> and if you can attribute, I mean, I, I've i delved in behavior a lot. I've written behavior books. I get to work with behavior experts. I love you guys, scientists. But dogs and cats, they can smell so much better than we can. And aren't they just calling our bluff? They know our emotional states, right? They do. Let's go with uh, John- Larry first, and then we'll get to Dr. John. Yes. I mean, you know, one of the things that we know is that animals watch us. Yeah. We have a pheromone product and, and we think it's going to work and we expect it to work. And we look like we're going to expect it to work. <laughs> Dog looks at us and said, Arden thinks it's going to work. It must yeah. work. So uh, they, they take lessons from us. They do. And uh, Dr. John McGlone, I mean, yeah. this is fascinating. I can't imagine. I'm trying to picture you two as little kids. And I understand you grew up in Long Island. And I don't think you were thinking pheromones and and insects when you were six years old. I mean, so how did you get from a kid in Long Island to one of the leading authorities on this area? Well, I I, actually, in my Ph.D. dissertation, I studied pheromones and pigs. Oh, okay. And so what happened is in my master's program, I have a bachelor's, master's, and Ph.D. In the master's program, I was looking at environmental reasons that would make pigs fight more or less. Oh. You know, like if they're crowded or if they have yeah. bedding or they're whatever. What can we do to reduce the fighting in the pigs? And I eliminated so many things. I said, the only thing left is the smell of things. Because ah. and I had certain experiments I did where it was clear that the smell was changing the behavior as the experiment went on. So then I said, okay, my PhD, I want to try and work on pheromones because I think they're powerful in their yeah. effects on animals. And in fact, they are. And then, and then a period happened, I would say, about 20 years when nobody cared about pheromones. But they still and cared about pigs. They, they cared about pigs, but you couldn't get anybody to fund research on pig pheromones or dog and cat pheromones back then because the, the concept was not yeah. well understood and Nobody believed it could be possible. But now we know that the pheromones activate the olfactory system Uh and that it activates the rest of the brain. And it activates it in different ways depending on the pheromone. I love this. And if, Larry, I mean, what about you? Did you ever picture yourself being a pheromone expert? Yes, for a different reason. John mentioned that pheromones are broadly known, and I come out of the agrochemical industry. I've been working on products for dogs and cats and cattle and horses and plants and crops forever. And <laughs> pheromones are broadly used to help with insect control. And I've been working with pheromones in combination with insecticides for a long, long time. Wow. Probably since I started. John brought something new, which is their powerful effect on animals. I like that. It's you guys are like buddies separated by a different womb, but you all share the same thing about pheromones. Well, um, we are buddies. Yeah, you are. 